climate change. There's been lots on our minds these days. There's the political situation in Russia and Ukraine, Ebola affairs in West Africa, pictures of naked celebrities being hacked from the cloud, and perhaps soon, an independent Scotland. Yes. Truth, is, <laughs> truth is, climate change hasn't gotten much precedent. And the reasons are many. People say climate change is because we take too many planes, too many cars, cutting down the trees, or growing our crops. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that it's real. And I've got evidence. The picture in black and white is the Moore Glacier in Alaska that was taken in 1941. The picture in color just beside it is that very same glacier in 2000. I think I need to say many words. It seems really obvious. Your children, much like the glaciers, are shaking too. This handsome young man is my son, Julian. Thank you. And Grandpa often phones and says, Well, how's my grandson doing? I say, You know, you know Dad, he's, uh, he's growing up, getting pretty big. And I wonder, Well, is it better if I could just show him? And so here he is. This morning, on his way to his grade two classroom here at ICSS. And just like the glaciers, just like your children, your students are changing too, every day. The picture that's in the green background is a self portrait that one of my students took last year. That was in September. That same student did another self portrait in March, and that's the one in the red background. You see the change? Now, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, and unfortunately, the reality is that the reports that we give our students are just that, lots and lots of words. You know, there is, there is a better way to do it. And I think we've come a long way since then. We've changed our grading system from ABCs to one, two, threes, and now maybe we're going back to AB, ABCs. And in the last 50 years, we've gone from handwriting comments to typing them. That was huge. And as I sit down every year, after about the sixth or seventh student, I start to wonder, wow, maybe I should take advantage of technology and just create a template for five kids and just cut and paste. Now, I know nobody here does that. But that's just my name. And what I want to say is there is a better way of doing this. Embrace technology and show your students. Don't tell me you're there. Take videos, pictures audio clips, PDF files, you name it, and then put it all together. And that a neat solution is what ePortfolios are all about. Once you have the ePortfolios, you can share them with parents, teachers, students themselves. You can reflect on them at the end of the year, maybe at the end of their elementary school, perhaps one day when they're old and gray-haired, lying in their bed, reminiscing happily about the good times they had. We often talk about 21st century learning, it's all a big catchphrase. Well, I think this is your chance to make that more than just empty words. Make the change, creating portfolios. Thank you.